Hello everyone, thank you for joining me, I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a lighthouse, which was another request I received. When crocheted using 8 ply yarn and a 3mm hook, the large one, the size is 18cm wide by 19cm, or 7 inches wide by 7.5 inches. The medium lighthouse crochet using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5mm hook is 9cm wide by 12cm or 3.5 inches wide by 4.5 inches. The small lighthouse crocheted using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1mm hook is 8cm wide by 10cm or 3 inches wide by 4 inches. I'll be using Katona cotton today so the size will be a little bit smaller than the large one. I'll tell you the size at the end of the video. I'll be using Katona cotton. I've got 106 Snow White, 115 Hot Red, 110 Black, 242 Metal Grey and 074 Mercury. I've got scissors, a darning needle to weave in the ends, a 2.5mm crochet hook and sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together. Now we'll start at the bottom of the lighthouse. I've got my 106 a Snow White and we start with 30 chain. For row 1, we miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each remaining chain. We'll have 29 stitches. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet, we put our hook into the chain, the second from the hook, and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, and take the hook with the yarn at the end through both loops. So one single crochet in each remaining chain as well. Now that's a 29 single crochet. 
For the rest of the lighthouse, I've been working either into the front loops or the back loops just to give it some texture. But if you'd prefer, you could just work into both loops. Um, for row 8, we do need to work into either the front or the back for the roof to add the eaves, but I'll tell you when that is. But I will be saying either work into the front loop or the back loop only, but you could work into two if you'd prefer. Now, we're starting decreasing. This side of the lighthouse decreases up. So for row two, we start with two chain and turn and we're going to work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches. We put our yarn around the hook. We're working into the front loop only. This is the front loop here and that's the back loop. So into the front loop only. We put our yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop. Then yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Then yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. And then we work one half double crochet in each stitch to the end. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch so it's a front loop only, and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Now we'll have 28 stitches by the end of the row. I've worked two already. So I work one half double crochet in each remaining stitch. For row 3 we start with 2 chain and turn and we work one half double crochet into the back loop only of each of our 28 stitches. Now this is the front loop and this is the back loop so we're working into this back loop. One half double crochet in the back loop only of each of the 28 stitches. I'll work this row off camera and then I'll be back. Now that's row 3 done. For row 4 we start with 2 chain and turn. We work a joined half double crochet over the first 2 stitches in the front loop only. We'll be working in the front loop only of this row. So a joined half double crochet in the front loop only of the first 2 stitches. 
and then one half double crochet in each stitch to the end. We'll have 27 stitches. For row 5 we start with 2 chain and turn and we work one half double crochet in the back loop only of each of the 27 stitches. So I'll work this row off camera one half double crochet in the back loop only of each stitch. There'll be 27 stitches. Now that's row 5 done. For row 6 we start with 2 chain and turn. We work a joined half double crochet in the front loop only of each of the first 2 stitches. And then 1 half double crochet in each stitch to the end in the front loop only. We'll have 26 stitches. So after the joined half double crochet, one half double crochet in the front loop only of each stitch to the end.
Now that's the bottom of the lighthouse and house part done. Now we're going to start with the roof. So we'll be working with the red and the white. I'll join in my red. So I just put a loop over my hook and bring it through. And I'll leave the tail there. I start with two chain with my red. And I'm going to be work, working over the tail. I need to take the white white. I need to take it to where I start with the white. Now we'll be working into the back loop only if, if you'd like to. Now we work three half double crochet in that first stitch. And then we work one half double crochet into each of the next 12 stitches with the red in the back loop only working over the white. So one half double crochet in each of the next 12 stitches. Now for the next stitch we're going to start with the red and then finish with the white. So put your yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop of red and then leave your red on this side. We're going to always leave our cotton on the back. Now this is the right side so we're leaving our red on the wrong side. Then bring up our white and finish the stitch. That just makes it look a little bit better. Now we leave the red where it is and work one half double crochet in the back loop only of each stitch to the end. For row 8 we start with 2 chain and turn. We work a joined half double crochet over the first 2 stitches working into the front loop only if you'd prefer. Then we work 1 half double crochet into each of the next 8 stitches.
Now we work a joined half double crochet over the following two stitches starting with the white and then finishing with the red. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop, then bring the white to the front because this is the wrong side. We want to leave it there. It looks better if we leave it there. Then finish the stitch with the red. Just yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. We leave our white there and now we need to make sure we're going to be working into the front loop only for the rest. We're going to work one half double crochet into the same stitch as the last part of the joined half double crochet. And then one half double crochet in the front loop only of each stitch until we have two left. So just make sure you're working into the front so we can work the eaves into the back loop. Now I've got two stitches left, we work a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 9 we start with 2 chain and turn. Now I'll be working into the back loop only for each stitch in this row. We work one half double crochet into each of the first 15 stitches. For the next stitch we start with the red so we put our yarn round the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and then leave our red at the back there and bring up the white to finish that stitch. So we've got 16 stitches with the red. Now leave the red where it is and we're going to be working with the white and we work a joined half double crochet, oh sorry, one half double crochet into each of the last 10 stitches.
For bow 10, we start with two chain and turn, and we work a joined half double crochet into the front loop only of the first two stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next six stitches. Then we'll work a joined half double crochet over the following two stitches starting with the white and finishing with the red. So put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop. And then bring your white to the front and finish the stitch with your red. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops and then work one half double crochet in the same stitch as the last part of the joined half double crochet and then one half double crochet you can work in both loops now in each stitch until you have two left It's much quicker working into both loops. And work a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. And then we fasten off the red. And that's the roof finished. Now we're going to bring a loop of white up into our eighth last stitch in the back loop only. So just count from the side. So it should be just after the red. And then start with two chain. For row 11 we'll be working into the back loop only. We work one half double crochet in the same stitch as we brought our loop up into and then one half double crochet in each stitch to the end. We'll have eight stitches. For row 12 we start with 2 chain and turn and working into the front loop only work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. and a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches.
and that's the last of the decreasing. We'll be working straight up now. For row 13 we start with 2 chain and turn and working into the back loop only work one half double crochet in each of the six stitches. For row 14 we start with 2 chain and turn and working into the front loop we work one half double crochet in each stitch. For row 15 we start with 2 chain and turn and work one half double crochet in the back loop only of each of the 6 stitches. For row 16 we start with 2 chain and turn, working into the front loop only we work one half double crochet in each stitch. For row 17 we start with 2 chain and turn and work 1 half double crochet in the back loop only of each of the 6 stitches. For row 18 we start with 2 chain and turn and work one half double crochet in the front loop only of each stitch. For row 19 we start with 2 chain and turn and working into the back loop only we work one half double crochet in each of the 6 stitches. and we fasten off. Now I'll weave in these ends and I'll be back with my hot red and we'll work the eaves and we'll neaten around the roof. For this red part of the eaves I join just 
in this loop left. We're going to be working along these loops at the top of the first row, so from row 8. So I join in this loop here and work 3 chain. I'm going to leave this tail where it is because I'll probably have a little bit of white showing through and I'll weave it in over the top of the white to hide it. Now I work one half double crochet in the third chain from the hook. And then one half double crochet in the same stitch as the join. Then we work one half double crochet in this loop left in each stitch along that row. Now it's easier if you bend your work to get into that stitch. Once you get to the last stitch, work 2 chain and slip stitch into the last stitch. For a slip stitch we put our hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook and then work one single crochet in each stitch up to the corner Into the corner, work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet or just two single crochet if you prefer. And then work one single crochet in each stitch along the top of the roof. slip stitch in near the roof and fasten off. And that's the first part of the eaves done. Now for the grey part, we join our 242, the metal grey, in the back loop only of the first stitch. Work one chain and one single crochet in the same stitch as the join and then one single crochet in the back loop only of each stitch.
and you could fasten off if you'd like or work one chain and slip stitch in the last stitch and then fasten off. And that's the eaves done. I'll weave in these ends and when I'm weaving in I'll just cover up that bit of white and then I'll be back and I'll have my white and we'll work a neatening row around the white. Now for the neatening row for the lighthouse we join our 106 the snow white just after the roof. And we're going to work slip stitches up around the top to the bottom here and then we'll work single crochets. Now for a slip stitch we put our hook into the stitch, bring up a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook. So hook in to a stitch, bring up a loop and straight through the loop on the hook. So just find a suitable place not too far from the edge to put your hook and work one slip stitch in each stitch up the side to the top. When I get to the corner I work one slip stitch in the side, one chain quite tightly and then one slip stitch in that same stitch and then work one slip stitch in each stitch along the top. I'm just working into the back loop only along the, the last row of the lighthouse and then work one slip stitch into the corner stitch, work one chain quite tightly and then another slip stitch into that same stitch and then work down the side. The slip stitch chain and then slip stitch in the same stitch just squares off the top and then we just work a slip stitch in each stitch down the side. So I'll work to this corner off camera and I'll be back. Now I'm to the bottom of the lighthouse. In the first stitch there I work one chain and then we're going to work single crochets along the bottom just in the back of each chain. The corners are worked the same as with a slip stitch. We work one single crochet, one chain quite tightly and one single crochet in the corner stitch and then one single crochet in each stitch up the side to the roof. So I'll work up to here and fasten off and I'll be back with the black and We'll start on this next row of black. Now this black part around the edge of the lighthouse has worked the same as the slip stitches around the top and down the side. We join our 110, the black, just after the roof, just in the outside loop. and just work one slip stitch into the outside loop. Work one chain first to secure it and then a slip stitch in each stitch up the side and just into those corners work one slip stitch, one chain quite tightly and one slip stitch. And we work this 
just down to the corner there. So I'll work the rest of this off camera. Now there's the lighthouse so far. We're going to be working the light and the top of the light next. I've got my 242, the metal grey, and we join in the first stitch at the top of the lighthouse on the black. Now I leave a long tail at the beginning just to work a slip stitch around just up the side along the top and down the bottom so we don't need an awful lot. I've probably got about a foot and that will probably be too much but it will depend on the weight yarn you're using. We start with six chain and we work one treble in the middle stitch across the top. A treble is a double treble using UK terms. For a treble we put the yarn around the hook twice, hook in to the middle stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two loops and yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining two loops. Then we work two chain and work one treble in the second last stitch along the top. And then fasten off. Now for the neatening row, we bring up a loop of the tail we left just work one chain quite tightly and work one slip stitch in each of the first three chain Then work one chain quite tightly and slip stitch in that same stitch. And then just work one slip stitch in each stitch across the top to the last stitch. Work one chain quite tightly and then one slip stitch in the same stitch. Now you should have seven stitches along the top. We need those for the top of the light. And then work one slip stitch in each, it just where you can fit your hook down the side of your treble. slip stitch in the bottom of the treble and fasten off and that's the light done. I'll weave in those ends and I'll be back with my mercury and we'll work the top of the light. Now for the top of the light I've got my 07 for the mercury and we join in the first of the seven stitches along the top. And I left a long tail again, probably about the same as the other. We may not need quite as much as the first tail. We're just working up around the light. We start with one chain. We work joined single crochet over the same stitch as the join and the next stitch. So put your hook into the stitch where we joined and bring up a loop and hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. There's three loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through the loops. Then work one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches.
for row two, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. One single crochet into the next stitch and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row three, we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the three stitches. So put your hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the middle stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop, then yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the four loops. Then we work about four chain. Now that's to bend down and be stitched down to the centre of the light. And when I fasten off, I leave a little bit of a tail to stitch it down. So it just stitches down there. Now for the neatening row, we just bring up a loop and work one chain quite tightly and work one slip stitch in each stitch around the light, working behind our chain. So hold it down and just work the slip stitch in behind where the chain is. Slip stitch in to the top of the light part and fasten off. And that's the light. You could attach something to the top of the light if you'd like. Now we have three windows all work the same. I'll only work one on camera. Now the centre of the window is made using 110 black. So using my black I start with 5 chain We miss the first 2 chain and work one half double crochet into each of the last 3 chain and then fasten off. So that's the centre part of the window. Now for the next row of the window I've got my 07 for the Mercury and I join in the centre of the long section just in the back loop and I leave a little bit of a tail I'm going to use that to embroider the marking across the window. Now this can be quite fiddly. And I haven't woven in the ends because I find it's easier to get into the stitches if I haven't woven into the ends. Now we work one slip stitch into the next stitch and then my next stitch is a corner stitch. I work one slip stitch in there, one chain and one slip stitch. I work one slip stitch in the middle of the half double crochet and then one slip stitch into the corner stitch, one chain quite tightly and then one slip stitch into that same stitch. I try to hold the tails out of the way but they do get in the way and then work one slip stitch in each stitch along the other side. One slip stitch, one chain quite tightly and one slip stitch into the corner stitch. And then 
one slip stitch into the center if you can and then one slip stitch one chain and one slip stitch into the corner and then slip stitch in to the first stitch and fasten off. Now I'll weave in the ends and I'll also embroider this marking across. What I do is I just stitch it across from the side to the other side and then I just stitch it down a couple of times. Just bring my needle up through the cotton and then down through the cotton to secure it. So I'll do that and then I'll be back with my red and we'll work the row around it. Now there's a window. We'll work this red edge around now, the frame. Now I've got my 115 for hot red and you can join in any stitch. I like to join in a corner stitch. And just work one chain and a slip stitch into the same stitch as the join. And I'm working into the back loops only. Work a slip stitch in each stitch along to the corner. Into the corner work one slip stitch, one chain quite tightly and one slip stitch. And one slip stitch in each stitch along the side. Then a slip stitch, one chain quite tightly and a slip stitch in the next corner. One slip stitch in each stitch along the end. A slip stitch, one chain and one slip stitch into the corner and then just slip stitch in each stitch up the side. slip stitch in the same stitch as the join and then slip stitch in the top of that stitch and fasten off. And that's a window. I'll make two more off camera. Now for the door I've got my 242 the metal grey and we work three chain. For row one, we miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each of the two remaining chain. For row two, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the two stitches. For row three we start with one chain and turn and work one 
one single crochet in each stitch. For row 4 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the two stitches. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. And for row 6 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. Now we're going to work a neatening row with single crochets on the sides and the end but not along the bottom. We start with one chain and we work one single crochet in each stitch up to the end. Into the first stitch at the top, work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet. And then into the second stitch, work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet and then work one single crochet in each stitch down the side. And single crochet into the last stitch and fasten off. And that's the centre part of the door done. I'll just weave in those ends and I'll be back and we'll work the next section. Now for the next part around the door I've got my 074 the Mercury and just join in the back loop only at the end of the door. We're just going to work the sides and the top. Work one chain and slip stitch in the back loop of the next stitch and then slip stitch in each stitch up to the corner. work one slip stitch, one chain quite tightly and one slip stitch in the corner and then slip stitch along to the next corner. Work one slip stitch, one chain and one slip stitch into the next corner and then slip stitch in each stitch down the side. and fasten off. And then join the red 
just in the first stitch of the mercury and we work another row the same one chain and then work one slip stitch in the back loop of each stitch up the side into the corner work, one slip stitch, one chain and one slip stitch and one slip stitch in each stitch along the top. One slip stitch, one chain and one slip stitch in the corner and one slip stitch in each stitch down the side. One's a bit loose. And then fasten off. And that's the door done. For the platform, I've got my 110 the black and we work 10 chain. We work two single crochet in the second chain from the hook. and then one single crochet in each chain to the last chain and work two single crochet into the last chain and fasten off now we're going to join our Mercury, the 174, in the back loop of our first stitch. We work six chain. We miss two st stitches and work one treble in the next stitch. That's a double treble using UK terms. We put the yarn around the hook twice. And then we work two chain.
We miss two stitches and work one treble into the next stitch and work two chain. We miss two stitches and work one treble into the following stitch. We miss the last stitch. For row two we start with one chain and turn and we're just going to work a slip stitch in each stitch along the top. So it will be the first two chain after our treble. So just one slip stitch. Just get your hook in wherever you can. It can be a bit hard slip stitching into the back. And then fasten off. Now this is the wrong side, that will be the right side there. Now there are little supports to go from the platform to stitch on to the lighthouse. So just join in the corner. Just wherever you can get your hook. and work three chain and fasten off leaving a bit of a longer tail that's just to stitch it to the lighthouse we don't weave in it, it in and the same on the other end just find somewhere to get your hook in work three chain and fasten off leaving a bit of a tail and that's the platform done when I weave in the ends I won't weave these in now that's all the pieces worked I'll just weave in the rest of the ends finish the windows and I'll be back and we'll put it together there's the pieces. I've got the lighthouse, the platform, the door and three windows. The first things I'll do is stitch this marking down the centre of the light using the tail. I'll stitch the eaves down. I bend them up a bit and just stitch the grey part just down just in along there so that it bends in and I'll stitch the door to the bottom it's just straight down from the top centre there so in there the last things I'll do is attach the platform just up in there I stitch across the black and then I attach the supports just to the side of the lighthouse and I'll attach the windows one in about there and there and then the other up about there so I'll do that and I'll be back to show you the finished lighthouse there's the finished lighthouse 
The size was 12 centimetres wide by 16 centimetres or 4 and 3 quarter inches wide by 6 and a quarter inches. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Patreon. The details are in the description below along with the details of my website where I have my patterns and the details of my Facebook group. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.